hey guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to give you a quick update on the dining room makeover that i'm doing just to recap this is what it looked like before so one of the first things that i changed in the dining room is this light fixture guys if you're looking for something to upgrade that is quick do your light fixture it makes a difference the second thing that I'm going to upgrade is an existing piece that she already had, which was an Ikea Calyx. This is my client that I'm talking about. So if you have an existing piece that you don't necessarily want to get rid of, try repainting it. So I went ahead and mocked up a design of what I would like to make that Calyx piece into. So I'm just going to put a couple of doors on the front. I'm going to paint it at legs and then put a wine um, insert in there, four of them. Um, so that's what my goal is. It is a work in progress. I mean, I'm doing a million things, but ultimately this is what I want it to look like. So here's a look at what the Calyx looks like now after it's painted and with legs. It looks like a new piece. So after I finished painting, I decided to work on the doors and I did this from scratch. And actually I wanted to update the design and add a couple of um, circles on there, half circles. Um, so I'm taking these floral rings that I found at Michael and I'm cutting them in half and adding it to the front of the door. And this is how it turned out. Sorry guys, I didn't do a in-depth tutorial on how I made this door. This was my first time making doors. I'm super proud of myself and I kind of winged it. Um, so if you are trying to build the same door, Google or search on YouTube faux shaker doors. Um, that's kind of the process. I just put a plywood on the back and then put um, one by twos on the outer perimeter of the plywood. So what I'm gonna do first is mark four inches on both sides of the door. And then once I've done that, I'm going to take my hinge and this is the hinge that I'm planning to use. This is the type of hinge that will make sure that the door stays closed at all times. So I'm just gonna flip it over and then put it at the four inch mark. Once I do that, you take a pencil or pen and you just create an outline of the circle. There's three circles that we need to put screws in. I'm just gonna remove that after we do that. Okay, so now I'm going to make pilot holes. Make sure the drill is going in the right direction before I start. I'm just gonna go down just a tad, not even a whole lot. I just want to create, start it off. So here's me putting the door on the front of the calyx. I'm just going to do um, one on both sides and I'm using my level to make sure that it's leveled um, when I put it up there. I don't know if you noticed, but my finger is kind of like underneath there because I'm just trying to make sure that it's even with the calyx. I don't want it to go higher or lower than um, the calyx. I want it to be even. Once the door is level and you have it where you want, take your pen or pencil and just outline the circles so you can make your pilot holes. After you make your pallet holes, simply put the door back on and screw it in. 
I did want to share that it was kind of tricky doing it by myself. I didn't have help. So what I did was use my feet. You can't see this, but I have my feet holding up the door at the bottom. Once you have the first screw in, it's easier to hold the door with your hand. Once you're finished with the top, it's time to move to the bottom and screw in those two screws as well. And here's what it looks like with the two doors on there. It's starting to come together. I also wanted to mention that my client decided to add an accent wall, so she painted it a seafoam color. Guys, I'm almost there, so I just need to run to the hardware store to grab some plywood because I am going to make floating shelves. All you need is two pieces of plywood, two one by twos and then some smaller um, one by twos and you can cut it pretty much to whatever size you need it to be um, so I already had made it off camera and then I'm going to finish it off by adding edge banding which is a thin strip of wood that has glue on the bottom so all you need to do is take your iron and uh, place it on top of whatever you want to um, adhere it to and it's on there and here's what it looks like on the wall so once that was done, I added a couple of top coats of polyurethane on top of the dining table because we want to show how beautiful the wood is and not have a cover on it. So after I did that, we cleared out the space and I'm going to add the rug. This is another suggestion if you're trying to look for something to enhance your room, add a new rug. Now that the rug is down, I'm just going to place the table on top as well as the chairs. So this is where I am in the process. There are a couple of things I need to do, like the wine insert. So I painted it, but I ended up sanding it down um, because, you know, this piece of wood was a little bit tricky. This is something that I purchased from Walmart. And I'll put the link at the bottom if you want to purchase this. This was like $12 a piece. Um, so after I sanded it, I spray painted it because your girl was tired. I did whatever I needed to do to quickly get through this process and this is what I decided to do. Now it's time to style it. Until next time, have a Merry Christmas.